the sand clone out and Aztec does cat, can yours teleport in time and then punish with sand trap? Uh, uh possibly. Depends on which cat he does, you know, like an air cat probably not. That's true. Ground cat keeps running. It's going to run like the length of the screen, so he probably could in that instance. Here we go. Uh, Aztec just throwing out that 3 4. Wow, good duck. Gets the duck into the punish. And this yeah. variation has got one of the better armor breaks in the game, so. 3 4 again. Just yep. using that big knee. Air cat. Gets the air cat. Gur just backing up, trying to find some space. Down for Gauntlet. And he's got to watch out because even with Sand Trap, that trade, the uh, when the disc hits uh, on a trade, it always any crushing blow pri prioritizes everything on trade. So, All right, Gur does have that clone out. Yep, threatening. going for it. All right, having that clone out is very smart for Gerb, being able to teleport behind. Just like that, uh, gets the punish. There, yeah. Wow, comes and went forward 2-2, and that normal leaves him very... Let's see if he goes with Cat. No, he does right, not Cat. Block. All right, gets the clone out again. Gets caught, doesn't get the Sand Trap confirmed. All right, Aztec does have Fatal Blow. One hit will kill, but the Command Grab should do it. Oh, not quite. Oh, caught him jumping over it, yeah. Now what he can do is, if Gur is going to keep challenging him after that string, he can always do cat, uh, Amplify Cat to kind of uh, safely check him for doing that, for trying to always interrupt or, or you know... Again, that's that's going to be a punish every time. That down one is guaranteed. So if he doesn't the pull the trigger on the cat, that punish is going to happen every single time. All right, and here with a short hop. Alright, Gurr gets that forward two into command grab. Gurr's Running so good at using that when he's cornered to really get that space. He uses that command grab. Great anti air with the uppercut. 3 4 into cat. The ultimate weakness grapplers getting hit. Is that kind of crushing? Oh, so Not close. Not quite. Alright, Gurr just trying to walk back. Gets a full combo. I mean, Gur is not respecting his ability to cat, and he's got to pull that trigger sometimes. There we go. What's it going to be? Cat's out of the corner. Okay, I like it. And that's going to fatal blow, and that will kill and take the round. All right, Aztec tying it up. One round apiece in the first game here. And I believe Just he's going to have both offensive bars at the start of this round, so... The cat is on the table here. Doesn't pull the trigger on. I feel like if he pulls the trigger on some of those. Right, catches him. Yeah, this is good. It's like 25% each time that hits, so it's good damage. Nice short hop. Too. Very good. Yep. Great trip guard. Right, gets caught by the air cat. He's all over him right now. Gur needs to get some space. Doesn't cat. Gur respects. Right, just applying this pressure right now. Makes a hard read. Anti aired. Wow, this that was a great conversion up. by Gur. Wow. Gur's been very consistent by anti airing with these clones. Yeah, Gur's got to be careful because on a trade with that disc, the, the match is over. Good down one check. Right, is that going to do. No, Not close. Quite. Not quite. All right, Gur. Backing up. Good up. Great down two. All right, Aztec just looking cat, for the cat. Down three. Gur went for a forward two there, I believe. And uh, down, down three. Is him. And that, yeah. And that's really the mix-up there. When that cat gets blocked, if you try to do anything but a down one, Kotal is going to sneak something in there. A lot of times, people get so used to, you know, like always getting that down one check, and they think, okay, he's blocking every time. Let me sneak in the throw. Or let me sneak in something a little slower. And that's really the mind game of, of the cat, uh, especially the... the the air one that can be, the frame data changes a little bit. It's always safe, but based on the distance and the height, etc., the amplify one. So it's quite a good mind game there. And Gur was caught where he needed something big, went for it, and he got caught. Yeah, Aztec just really used that air cat very well to escape the corner and just to try and catch Gur, not, not watching.
But Gurr definitely did not look too lost. He was definitely doing well, especially with his anti airs with his clones from yeah. the whole screen, getting those confirms with the sand trap. He was using the uh, the the sand clone extremely well, especially putting it at the right distance just to catch him jumping in, and he was converting just about every single time with Sand Trap as well off of those. Wow, that could have been a huge damage. Only takes the throw. Down one on hit in the command grab. Right, That's so safe. Good punish, punish by Gur. Is that gonna, not gonna be? No, not quite. Right, he's got him in that corner. Well, that was punish, great punish. Oh, wow, that was just unfortunate. He, he thought he was going to block it after he got the 1-1. One, one. If only there was an OS to cover for hitting kick throws. Yeah, if only. Throws him out of the corner. Aztec, Very good. He's going to throw him right switch. back in the corner. Amplifies it for the extra damage. No whiff punish on the 3-4. Right, Aztec the oh, that's great. He had to do it. He needed the cinematic to to get out of that. But I don't know if I agree with this. He's losing his fatal blow. He is, but... And Aztec has cat. Oh, he throws it. Gurr going into the second round without fatal blow. It's one of those things where you know it's over if you don't do it, and maybe just instinctively, you know, you just... Yeah, that double down one anti air into a command grab confirmed from Gur was very, very nice. Yeah, he's. Catch what was that? Was, that was, did you disc. see that? He teleported and the disc still hit him. Yeah, and it didn't crushing blow either. I right, guess a full confirm. That was very strange that the disc actually hit there behind Kotal Khan there. Okay, good damage here by Gur. Right, and the setup is coming. Get a setup. Oh, he breaks Break away. away good. Avoid it. Gurr just making use of his clones, knowing where they are at all times. And a trade here would hurt a lot, so gur has got to be really careful that he doesn't get hit by a disc trade. Aztec just healing back all that damage. Yeah. Praise the sun. Oh. Right, nice block. Does not, and that's a huge damage counter hit. One command grab. Right, Aztec blocking Good blocks. Up. No cat. Gur, good challenge. All right, Aztec just shimming in that's and out. He gets it. it. The range is so deceptive. Sometimes you think, just for a second, let me walk back. And it catches you. Oh, this is Kotal Khan. You, we got those half-screen normals. Yeah. Good thing they didn't make it 11 frames like everybody wanted in the beginning. God yeah, help us all. Be... Okay, so what is this, 2-0 for Aztec right now? 2-0 for Aztec, the totemic. The man that always yells, buff Kotal. Yeah, kind of on blast here with that buff Kotal talk, man. Yeah, buff Gears. Yeah, Gears looks like he could use a couple of touches right now. Gears is down 2-0 against Kotal Khan. Now, Gur, I expect to stay with Eternal. I mean, I think Infinite Warden does a lot better in this situation. I know Gur does think Infinite Warden is better. But Eternal is just his personal. Favorite. I mean, he loves Eternal. He he has he enjoys it. He he oh, he loves it. So we love Hardy in the MK community. And I mean, he's using command grabs. What's not to love? Yeah, he loves grapplers. I know Gur has played grapplers in pretty much every game outside of uh, even in Injustice Two. He could still play Bane if he needed to. You know, he he loves grapplers for sure. He loved Adam, but loves his grapplers. Yeah, but why, okay. why play a grappler when you can play the smallest character in the game? Yep, 2-0 right now for Aztec. Very nice, down one, jails him into that 1-1, one, one, tries to challenge. What's no the setup? Away. Good jab check, throws him in the corner. And he didn't hold it the whole time just to give himself that space so he's not right next to Kotal. Yeah, and he's using that space perfectly to zone. He's gonna get a full combo This is here. gonna be big damage here. Yeah, he's just gonna take it all. Not for a setup, just max damage. Yeah, forward two. All right, a dominant first round in this game number three from Gur. All right, Aztec back against the wall. A Cats sand out. trap. Yep. That does happen sometimes. They'll just go right past you. It's 
Wow, out great knowledge. Great flawless block there. Right, Forward great three confirm. into the clone explosion. Alright, Gur looking very strong right now. Teleport. That was a great bait. Oh, just almost got it. Down one floats right, great him. Confirm. All right, Aztec's looking lost right now. All the momentum on Gur. He's gonna back up, play it a little bit of safe. Wow, great conversion. Gur has been on point with that conversion this entire set. Down one, Jails in the out. stand one, really nice. Gur coming back. It's his first game on the board. That was a very convincing game. Uh, sometimes very momentum convincing. is one hell of a thing, and Gur seems to have it figured out there. I like how instead of basically holding it all the way into the corner, sometimes he lets the, the, the grab go a little early, gives himself that space. Yeah, he's one of the Works. only Gears players I've ever seen do that. He doesn't utilize the full runtime of the command grab and will let it go a little early Number just to try to get extra space because Eternal does have very solid zoning with the Sand Trap and with the Sand Clone to try and force that space control. All right, so Gur is on the board here. Gur, very offensive there. Just knew one to poke, jailed every single time with that 1-1. One, one, got some big damage mid-screen, got huge damage in the corner there. Just was pretty much smothering Aztec there. He was a little more aggressive in that round than he had been this entire set. Let's see if he kind of keeps that. Now, this stage does have those two interactables in the middle, as well as that one on the corner that will combo in the right corner. So let's see if that comes into play here. Immediately break away after that up two. And this is going to be huge. Got no breakaway. Oh, this uh, is the command, command grab. grab. All right, but we got those. Gurr's pretty much got him frozen right now, respecting everything. Just, And it is a mid, so you do have to neutral jump it. You can't just sit there and block it, can't duck it. Unbelievable. How did he know? He, right in front of his face. That was great. Even, even though it did whiff, it, it would have got caught anyway. Gurr is in Aztec's head right now. This is looking just like a repeat of the last game yeah Gers and what he's doing now is over he's sand trapping right in front of him so when aztec jumps and does cat he's getting caught right in front of gur and all and he misses is sand trap confirmed for the for, for i think the first time this set no for sure first time gur has been on point with that the entire time what a read Into the corner we go. Gur is working on a flawless right now. Good jump. He's he's very aggressive now. Aztec has got to try to get something right, going. Aztec okay, finally there we go. gets out of the corner for this first time in these last two games. Gur throwing him back across the screen. He's done that every single time this set. Is, the that's going to be get it. The cross. That's it. Scaling Still not, not dead yet. Kodakon, 1100 life. Trip guard with the sand trap. Gur is climbing back very fast. We got a game five, setup. folks. Let's get it. Damn. This man tied Some, the set up so fast. Something he did in those last two games and to, to get that commanding lead in both of those rounds. He uses the Sand Clone from a right range, as right in that range where Forward 2 will reach him. Sand Clones, and then when he goes to Forward 2 to check him, Flawless Block up to, and the Clone is right there. Sand Clone explodes, just huge damage. Yeah, he's just been getting, every time Aztec tries to go in and apply pressure, Gur's just been shutting him down with his perfect Flawless Blocks. Kronika's timepiece. That's yeah, really huge because he gets the up two, then he gets the setup with the sand clone there as we reverse positions and then does the teleport and then it's kind of like what's it going to be throw or strike. Done that both times there. Maybe Aztec will kind of vary his timing coming for a Aztec grab instead next time. He's using ascension. Uh, this I think is going to be tough uh, without the cat now. Now. Aztec's gonna try and go for those bigger damage combos. Up and the and command throws, yeah. So now command throw versus command throw here. Okay, there we go. One, two, tick throw. Got that mid command grab. 
arguably be okay. the best command grab in the game. Yeah, or close to it for sure. Keep him in the corner. Jumps over the three four, not quite. Wow, he just he's literally a hundred percent on all those command throw setups. Gar's gonna half the side neutral jumping. Right, Gar interrupts the one two, which was another tick. He tried to fall his block that too. Plus frames. All right, Gur says you got up. command grab. So do I. All right, plus. Good air to air. Tries to, tries to jump and did, just didn't have the advantage. That sand clone explosion is quite plus. Thirty seconds. I don't think he has enough time to lame it out. I. Sand trap does go. enough on chip. Gur has to go in or get some hits. Okay, he had to break Good away. Breakaway. What a read! There's no way he 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 confirmed the down one into the uppercut. I don't know. This this is Emperor Aztec. This is the it, it, is, it is it is Emperor Aztec. Yes, it is. Wow, that's unfortunate because that, that is fuzzy guardable. Gerd does not want to get sent to losers. He wants that guaranteed T-shirt. Okay, good damage here. Oh, oh, he drops it. Man yeah, throw. Those... Let's see if he gets oh, out of the corner here. Grabs. Sometimes you kind of play in these situations just to make sure you're not cornered when the round ends. And he gets it. Okay. But he's going right. to have... They're both going to have full bars. And Gur is in the corner here. So, final round. Fatal Blow available for both as well. Final game, final round. Jumps over the reversal command grab. Staying safe. Okay, I like right, it. Estek, good interrupt the on the command grab. Gerd jails him until they won one after the down one. Gears is down one, I believe, is plus 13. Oh, oh, and he blocked it. That setup is so ridiculously plus. He's got to break away, yeah. Oh, oh tries my. to go for the down one. I think he was reading he was going to jump, but again... Has uh, fatal blow, just, but has a lot of work. Just one guess away. Aztec full screen doesn't have cat as an option to get in. But this is Kotal Khan. Is he? Uh, I, like I would have spent it. He's gonna get that momentum going. Just needs one. Just needs a command grab and a dream. That's it. Down one punish. Go one one Not one. Rossrail. And the wake down up down one. one. Yeah. Gurr. Good round by Gurr there. That was a very close set. And that was good patience. Just knowing it takes a lot. It's going to take. A lot of people make that mistake sometimes where they really give up the big damage in the first guess. Gurr realizing, look, for him to beat me by me blocking, he's going to have to command throw me like four times. So he's going to have to make four right guesses. So Gurr basically said. I'm going to make you make four right guesses as opposed to give it all away in one. That, that's a strategy you see by a lot of experienced players. And it really paid off there. And Gurr gets the win. Comes back down 2-0. And comes yeah, back to take the set. That was a reverse 3-0.